All right, so I want to follow up with a recap and a conclusion and remind everybody, if you have questions, feel free to give me a call. Email me, Raymond at realuniversity.com or check with an attorney, okay? Uh, there are many different types of harassment that we talked about, we alluded to. There's, you know, age discrimination, there's... Uh, all these other discriminations, harassments, like physical harassment, uh, mental harassment. Mainly the one that we talked about in this class was sexual harassment. And obviously sexual harassment is wrong and it's potentially illegal. We talked about what is an unwanted harassment, it's, or what is sexual harassment. It's an unwanted, repeated uh, advances and it's not just the person that's receiving the action that could be file this complaint it could be someone else we also talked a little bit about the what sexual harassment is not they called it a single or trivial behavior like Deb that's a nice outfit or Bob those are great looking slacks you're wearing those are trivial or one time and do not rise to the level of an illegal activity. We talked about the NAR stance and their code of ethics. You as a professional are held to these standards potentially even while you're not working as a realtor. All right. We talked about the EEOC, we talked about HUD, we talked about FHA, we talked about real estate brokerages and how they can protect you and under what laws they would protect you if you feel that you are a victim of sexual harassment. We talked about what are the ramifications of the brokerage. It could potentially devastate the entire company, which could devastate other agents that are not involved in this at all. So as a brokerage, you need to make sure you create a policy and procedure, you adhere to it, and you try and solve the problem before it gets further down the road, all right? If you are a person that has been a victim or even think you have been a victim of sexual harassment, I encourage you now to contact a, an attorney. Don't wait. Don't call me and ask. I'm going to tell you the same thing. If it's questionable at all to me, call somebody. All right? What to do if you are the victim? Take good notes, keep all the evidence, and call somebody of power. And what I mean by that, I mean knowledge. I mean, I can agree with you, but I really have no power for that you probably need to get with your immediate supervisor or their supervisor or an attorney. And I've said that name a lot and I don't typically advocate using attorneys. That's a lie, I do. I like them actually, but I'm doing it now too. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Uh, you can reach me at the office or you can email me at raymond at realuniversity.com. I thank you very much. Have a good day.